Well, having your home destroyed by a flood is heartbreaking, but for one family, it's also gut-wrenching, literally. Their home has been ruined by a flood of a different kind, and they say council is to blame. Everything got damaged in our, in our room, my son's room, everything. <laughs> that must have been overwhelming. Yes. Yeah, it was yeah. And the yeah. smell. Within one hour, you couldn't stand. Imagine arriving home to this mess. Oh my God. I walked in that water. It was ankle depth. No, it was full till ankles. In and here. Yeah, in here. Wow. And uh, so it was really a bad, bad situation. Sumit and Sucheta Kapoor have lived in their Toowoomba home since 2018. They're public servants, nurses in emergency and intensive care at the local hospital and parents to their two kids. Their life in Australia was the dream they had worked for. But in November last year, these house proud battlers were forced out of their home. How are the two of you feeling? I'm feeling shattered and just broke from everywhere, like no one is hearing. We feel very abused, bullied and unheard. So Chetta had ducked down to the local laundromat to dry clothes. When she returned home in heavy rain, she could tell something was seriously wrong. My son just yelled and he could see something, some black water kind of stuff coming very slowly, coming out of the doors. It had come through the shower drain in their ensuite. And then it came out, spread it, uh, just was spread underneath the cupboards here and, and inside the cupboards had gone everywhere. Raw sewage flowing from their walk-in robe to their main bedroom and through the walls to their children's rooms. They say as a result of this council crew who were clearing a blockage from a manhole across the street. I really begged them that please come inside and see what you've done. You need to... But those men just shooed me away. They said that uh, this happens when we do these sort of work. This is often. Yeah. This is, this is this very things common. Happens. So I said, can you please come inside my property and see what damage you people have done? And uh, he, one of them, kept saying, oh, we uh, are not supposed to come inside the property, mate. We are only to do outside work. Eventually, another council worker showed up to inspect the damage. We went inside and he, the guy, council guy, just shook his head. He said, and he said, oh, this is really saddening and this is really, uh, apo he apologised for what has happened. Before accessing a different manhole on their property to clear the blockage. They said, look, this is the, uh, the best uh, manhole in the town now. They said there's no nothing more clean than this. Just don't go inside. Still, we lost a lot. We lost a lot. No help was provided by them. I walked in to get all our stuff out. They left us like this. Toowoomba Regional Council did pay for a few nights in a hotel, but the Kapoors say that's all it's done. We were in so much distress. They have just brush their hands. The family's insurer is paying for cleaning, repairs and ongoing emergency accommodation, but long-term stays are hard to come by and the family has had to cover the cost of moving five times in four months. That's on top of their insurance excess and they claim they're out of pocket thousands of dollars in additional living expenses. We are financially under a lot of strain. We have used all our holidays. We have used our pocket money. We have used everything. At their wits end, the couple eventually wrote to council asking for help. We are struggling with everything, they said. Having to move around for the accommodation is causing so much stress to our family. We are looking forward to the full support and understanding of the council about our physical, mental and financial conditions. The council's reply seems to suggest it's not their problem. Whilst the damage to your property is unfortunate, the circumstances that led to the incident were outside council's control and were unforeseeable. Therefore, council cannot be held liable. They can't shoo things away like this. They can't brush their hands and say, it's done, please. Compensate what you've done to us.
disgusting, isn't it? And we sent to Woomba Regional Council a number of questions about this case, but since the matter is ongoing, it said it will be inappropriate to comment.